Mavis is special. Toby, asked Mavis, why are brake vans special? Toby pondered. I don't know about special, but they are essential. Oh, you fancy trying to stop those stone trucks all on your own now, do you? <laughs> Certainly not, Mavis gulped. But does that mean managers should be saying brake van essential instead of brake van special? Thomas, resting nearby, laughed. That's different. <laughs> a a brake van special is when visitors tour places like quarries and mines. <laughs> Usually places like that don't have coaches, so the visitors have to ride in brake vans. Mavis beamed. That sounds lovely. I've never had visitors before. Oh, 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 oh my, I, I, I must go tidy up. And she shot off up the line without another word. Why anyone would want to see a dirty old quarry is beyond me, Thomas called after her. My branch line has much better places to see. Hm. Soon the day arrived and Mavis was bustling about. She'd put the brake vans into a siding and was busy tidying the trucks. Act quickly now, Mavis, called the manager. We'll need to polish you before we fetch the visitors. In her distraction, Mavis didn't notice that the points hadn't been set properly. Before she could even think of anything else, the trucks bumped and lurched and toppled over, spilling stone everywhere. Worst of all, the siding with the brake vans was now blocked. I I'm, I'm sorry, sir, she cried. I was, was oh, too... Well, uh, that's all right there, Mavis. It's not your fault, the manager soothed. I shouldn't have distracted you, you see. Uh, what will we do now? Suddenly, Mavis had an idea. Uh, there's a good shed at the top station. Maybe they have some brake vans we could borrow. Well done, Mavis, smiled the manager. I'll phone the station master straight away. Toby was in the yard when the call came through. Round up some brake vans, Toby, quick as you can, called the foreman. It was then that Toby spotted the coaches resting in the carriage shed. Pardon me, sir, he replied, but, well, I have a better idea. <laughs> Absolutely not, fumed Thomas, when Toby explained. Why not? Oh, it'd be a nice treat for her. What about my passengers? Well, Daisy's offered to take them. Ha! Huh. Oh, imagine losing both my passengers and coaches to diesels. Oh, what is this branch line coming to? Uh, uh, Annie and Clarabel don't want to go to the quarry. They'll get filthy. Well... I do like the sounds of a jaunt up the tramway, smirked Annie. Oh, yes, did it, Clarabel. It would be lovely to see young Mavis again. And what am I supposed to do? scowled Thomas. Well, grinned Toby, you could follow Mavis up to the quarry. Those trucks won't put themselves right, after all. Thomas decided it was best to say nothing more. Mavis was surprised when she arrived at the top station. Annie, Clarabel, and Henrietta stood at the platform, packed with visitors. Well, not exactly brake vans, chuckled Toby. But what do you think of your special train? Mavis was delighted. The coaches sang cheerfully, bumbled along up the tramway, and the visitors were most impressed as they toured the quarry. Mavis was very proud. Uh, oh, uh, I, I say, Mavis, uh, what's that? asked one. The man was pointing at Thomas, who was covered in dust and struggling to re-rail the trucks. Mavis had to laugh. <laughs> it's an engine reacquainting himself with one of the better places on his branch line. <laughs>